See, there's an old driveway right beside. You see where the car is sitting at the end of my driveway? Yep. Yep. Right here. This? There's another driveway that splits off and goes up through them woods. That okay. is technically the that is technically the divider of that property. Okay. How so much is where that, is that property? Yeah, you can't see how much that is. Two point two eight acres. Yeah. That's 2. what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. So this here is your driveway. This right here, where the car is. Yeah. Okay. And so I can totally so, understand where it would be. The encroachment, technically, the encroachment of the property is. That whole section from about right there, 10 foot by my car, up across a little ways. They've squared that tip out. Yeah, but about 10 or 15 feet over into the wood line. All right. So it cuts right through the corner of this property. So when, so explain to me, when Jackie purchased the land, uh, did he, was he under, did he give problems about the driveway at all? Was he cool about it? Was he like, oh, it's no big deal? Like, or, or was it more so Jody, like, you're not using that driveway or, you know, how, how, explain that to me. How did that go about? Like, what was the situation like in your, like, in your opinion? Well, the situation was the day he showed up was we had took her to the doctor and came back home and was up there and was going back out and came back down and he was down there and had been cutting stuff and cut through a bunch of shit and that is the first interaction we'd had with him okay yeah and it wasn't a pleasant one right jody said you got you got pretty pissed that day i think she was saying you guys they were Not no it really wasn't that bad. I mean, I my uncle had told him that he was in the wrong spot, and then that's all I told him was he was on the wrong property. He needed to move over about 15 foot. I didn't tell him he couldn't be there or nothing. I just said you needed to get off that property and find you somewhere else to park because that is not yours, and you come in and started cutting and didn't even ask nothing. Oh. So at that point, he, he didn't have a deed to the property showing what he had actually bought. Mm hmm so legally, was this driveway his land or? On our deeds, it shows it ain't. Okay. So on the deed, it was different. And that's why. On the pins, on the pins that it shows on my property, he's off by 15 or 25. The pins were off by like twenty feet or so. Hmm. All right, and you were like, no. He, he, the dispute was, he said that the auger bit mailbox post was the pin. The auger bit mailbox post was put up because somebody kept tearing the mailbox down. Oh, who do you think was doing that? Uh, that was Jerry Simpson. That was way back before any of this stuff started. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So it didn't really have anything to do with any of this. That was before Don Wales and all that shit lived over there. His mom lived oh, over there, but wow. so it went back a while then. Yeah, this was back in probably mid nineties, late nineties, early two thousands. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So when Jackie showed up that day, uh well not that day because he had been around, but so did you, did you guys want to try to work some, did you guys want to try to work some, so how did he react when you said, you know, you need to find somewhere else? Would he have another driveway to enter the property? Is there any driveway around there or is that the only one? I mean, he could have entered the property from right there where he is at. He could have entered right there, but mm -hmm. he started cutting stuff. He started cutting stuff. Okay. And that was the issue. So it wasn't even really the driveway. Like, so you didn't really mind if he used the driveway to get up there. You just didn't want him cutting things. Yeah. On my side of the property. Yeah. I understand that. So it, so it must've changed at some point, um, along the way. Right. So on the deed, the, the, uh, driveway was originally part of your property, but then when did that change? Do well, you know? that. 70s in the 70s all that changed when they sold off okay our original driveway goes up through the woods you could probably see it if you blowed it up and looked at it real good you can see an old road go up through those woods that's the original road that went with the property 
Where my memo and papa. Oh God. Where the, where the car says is where it enters the woods. Okay, right here. Okay. What'd you say about your mama and papa? They bought a piece of property that actually crosses across the road there, down into the woods, over to the whales, okay. and that goes back over to there. Whereabouts? Right over here, or am I about? See, right that's right here? No, come back up this way toward my driveway. Towards your driveway. Okay, so it's it's more through here. It's on the opposite side of the road. That's their driveway. That's Donnie yeah. and them's driveway. So come back toward my driveway up through there. Okay. All right. Is it on? All right. So, and it goes through, did you say it goes through the Wells property? I've never heard this before. So this is new to me. That's why. So bear with me, Andy. Sorry. I've never heard this one about the, uh, so there's a, there's a piece that goes through the Wells property that your, uh, mama and papa bought. It don't go through the Wells property. It goes over there across the road where that parking spot is. Okay. All right. I got over here. So in cold attack is right in front of your property. Is that what you mean? Because they're like where they put the little, um, you know, that little green thing that was sitting there. Is that what you mean? Like there's like kind of a little loop de loop there in front of the driveway. It don't. Yeah. It don't go over toward the wells that far. It just goes basically straight down where that driveway goes straight down over into the woods. And it goes down to the creek down here across the road and back down toward where it comes back up the hill on the backside. Okay. So the and they bought it in the, in the 70s. In the 70s? Okay. 70s, 80s. I can't remember what the thing says on it because there's two different. Yeah, 70s, 80s. It's, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get an idea of where things went wrong and how the hell the property lines changed and whatnot. I know Jody was so really he, triggered by it. Because um, what you're showing right there that's showing what is it 37 acres on our property right here yeah well your so this is the, they're numbered so uh this is 37.00 let me pull up your i'll pull up yours let me pull up uh let me stop sharing that screen and i'll pull up yours one second. Uh, i've got to go to kingsport in a little bit okay just let me know when you got to go and uh no worries so this is here this one is your uh, mom's property, right? So this is where you guys lived. So this is the 37.00. Yeah. This is Jackie's. This is Don. So go ahead. Is so, this the and that one? The what? Snake? What is, is Explain to me here. See this, how it goes around like a little, like a little snake almost? Yeah, that's back to, uh, I can't remember the names. That's okay. That, see, all that back there used to be part of ours too. But when my mama's sister, my papa's sister died, they split that part off and okay. sold it. And where's the road? You were talking about a county road. See right there, it goes on to the road right here. Hold on. It goes on to Ben Hill Road. Mm -hmm. Come back to it. So right, right here? Going up Ben yeah. Hill? Okay. Yeah. Now, when... But uh, see, because this ain't even my spot to be in. You know what I mean? That belongs to my mom and my uncle. That mm -hmm. has nothing to do with me. Yeah. So, right. So, Andy, let me ask you this. I've got you up here, and we're looking at the property you lived on. And, and that statement that you just made is so... It stands out to me, because you even say... That's not even my property. That's my mom's property. And you said your aunt, right? Your auntie? My uncle. Auntie? Oh, your uncle. My mom. Oh, that's right. It was my grandmother's okay. property. So it was your grandmother's. Then your your mom and your uncle are on the property now. But see, I think that that's, see, that stands out to me because I feel like Jody took ownership over this property and you're here, the son of the woman who owns this property saying, that's not even my property. It's my mom's property. But in, when you listen to Jody, you would think, geez, you would think it was her property. But, and that's like, I feel like that's the difference. You've got you sitting here saying, well, that's not even my property. It's my mom's and my uncle's. But Jody claims ownership over this property. Uh, you know, throughout all this, it's almost like, you know, she thinks it belongs to her, which is, I think, so interesting. Uh, please ask Andy about the survey lines Jody had to move fix. Okay. So, uh, Andy, did she move any any uh, markers at all that you knew of? Or 
or did, do you think she did like per, a, a pretty perfect job or did it cause like a rift at all? Was your mom irritated? Like, cause before you came in here, I was saying I would never feel comfortable ever with moving uh, property lines or well, markers or anything like that. And I also wouldn't even feel comfortable going to pick up the deeds and stuff. It's not, it wouldn't be my property. Right. So did that you cause, didn't, didn't go pick pick up. she didn't go pick up the deeds. I went and picked up. Oh, you did. All right. Yeah. Okay. So she didn't even do that. So you did. All right. Then no problem because I thought she did. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. She said she I mean, had to fix the line. So honestly, in all actuality, the only deeds that I can honestly remember going and picking up since we done have the main map for the house and properties right there and our deed map is uh, we went to check on what was going on with the property, ne the, the Dobbs property. And that was, I'm thinking before, I don't even remember, honestly. Well, his closing date, I, I believe, was the first, the first of June. So he closed on the property on the first because here on the, I have it up right now because I have yours up, but it's uh, Jackie Dobbs and it says, uh, where's the date? Hold on a sec. It said June, June 1st was the, was the initial date that it was sold to him. So June 1st, it had to have been before then, right? Or did, did he buy it? Did he close on it? And then he went and looked. Dolly, I'll repeat that one more time. This dog. Oh, you're good. No worries. Um, so he closed on the property on the first. That's what it says on here. Anyhow, I don't know if it's, you know, it might be different on another piece of paper, but on the tax assessor website here, we're at the property viewer. It says June 1st, 2021. So it says that the sale date was June 1st. So do you think it was before June 1st that you guys went and did all that? Or was it after, after you realized, you know, there was like really a problem? I don't know. You cut out. Sorry, Andy. I think you had a little glitch there. I didn't hear what you said. No, my mom and dad was calling. Oh, okay. Do you need to go? Do you need to answer the phone? Not yet. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, so what I had said was the close date was June 1st, 2021. Do you think that it was before June 1st or was it after he closed on the property that you guys went to go get all that information? I have no clue on that. I don't, I really don't know. Uh, That's fine. Like I said, I had pretty much all the, the deeds and stuff. Mom had them from where all that stuff got split up. Yeah, from a long time ago. Okay. Uh, let's see. So uh, I'm just looking through the chat because, and this is helpful, Andy, because we've only ever heard one side. And it's it's helpful to hear it from you because even like certain things uh, correlate with one another, like certain things Jody said, you also have the same rendition of the story. Some things are a little bit different, right? So it helps us to gain clarity on what the truth is, right? Because we're always questioning, you know, is this true or whatever? So it helps yeah. for, for you to even answer just even these small questions because the property situation seemed to be such a problem for Jody. And did, did you feel at the time that all this was going on, were you on board with her? Did you feel the same way she did about the land and everything? Were you Sorry about that. That's okay. No worries. Um, what I was asking was, oh, were you on the same page with her? Like, so when she was super heated about the whole situation, were you pretty much on board with that? Did you feel the same way she did? Like, did you share the same, you know, frustration? Did you share the same uh, feelings about the only, the only frustration I had was having to deal with her and her raising hell over everything. It didn't really fucking matter. All right. So thanks. That's what I'm asking. So when all this was going on, did you really care if Jackie drove up the driveway and it crossed over or like, obviously you probably cared, but were you, you weren't nearly as freaked, freaked out about it as she was. No, I just, I just didn't want no troubles and no land disputes and shit like that. I just wanted it settled because he would come in there and cut a bunch of her lights and stuff like that. So uh -huh. So that is true. Then he was he was cutting through uh, lights. You said. Yeah, you know how you decorate the bottom of your driveway yeah. and shit, have flowers up and have your little bushes yeah. planted. And, you know, lights hanging in. Come in, cut two or three trees and uh, the lights and. Yeah. Yeah. 
See, because I ne- I see it's so helpful because I never know if she was being honest. So that helps too because you know she's told these stories, Andy, and I'm like, well, geez, who knows if this is even true? So you clearing this up actually helps. That way we know, you know, all right, she wasn't uh, she wasn't lying about him cutting through the lights or whatever because we do question a lot of the things that she said over you know, the last year or so, there's been so many crazy things that were said. I'm like, oh, who knows if he cut through the lights or whatever. But were you, you were more so trying to diffuse the situation. Like, all right, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. Let's just get it over with. Uh, Kraken Case that says, Tiffany, will you ask if he knew Brandon Carr and how did he know those would so well on Andy's mom's property? You mean uh, oh, it's Brandon, the guy that JLR was walking with in the woods. Is that the same person, Cam? Do you know who that is, Andy? Brandon Carr? I don't know who that is. Where who that those people are, the people we talk to, and names have come up through all this shit. Uh, yeah. So. So. All right. So I you, mean, it, you only have heard of him. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've probably seen him at a gas station or going up and down the road or something, but I, yeah, I don't know him personally, no. Okay. Cam says I mean, I didn't date with my family down there a whole lot, so I mean, I, you know, I lived there, I kept to myself. Okay. And speak on Andy. I remember that because when JLR had asked him if he knew Andy, he said he'd rather not comment on it or something like that. I don't know. Um, so let me ask you this, Andy, oh, while I have you up here. I know you have to go soon. So you seem to be more laid back about the situation where you're like, you know, most of all, it was more so Jody that was the problem with like the stress factor. It was it was her putting a lot of buying the land and everything. I feel like from what you're telling me, you were more so like, all right, you know, let's not worry about things that aren't gonna like kill us, right? Um, you kind of have to like pick and choose your battles type of thing. Uh so what do you think, um, if you could pinpoint, do you think it was more of a control thing and she was just acting like this because she could or she wanted to have power? Or do you think that there may, do you ever question, so let me cut right to the chase. Do you ever question um, when you weren't around and maybe she did question if maybe things were going on at home when you weren't around and maybe she didn't want anybody to see her, you know, her daily activities, or do you think she was hiding anything from you? Like during the day when you were at work possibly, and she was worried about somebody maybe seeing her activities during the day or, and you don't have to answer if you're not comfortable. I don't think we'll have to answer that. Yeah. I've, I've got a lot of theories and I've got a lot of stuff that's mm-hmm. been brought to my attention that mm-hmm. makes me remember a lot of stuff now. So, yeah. Cause I've always kind of felt like the reason why, yeah, you think it was a control thing, Terry. I think that maybe that's a little bit, you know, a little bit of what was going on, but like, I've always kind of got the impression, like it was her lifestyle that maybe she was trying to hide things that were going on there. She didn't want, you know, Jackie Dobbs right on top of her because then, you know, nobody wants their neighbors right on top of them, peeping in, watching everything they do. You want your privacy. Anybody does. So that's completely normal. And I would never hold that against anybody. But I've always kind of felt like there was still something the closest more. Could put a house on that property would have still been almost fucking 500 feet, maybe. I don't know. It, it would have been close enough to where we'd have had to worry about neighbors. There ain't no way so, he could have built nothing toward the top of the hill where the house and her cabin was. Yeah. So he wouldn't have even been able, even with him yeah, being right there wasn't going to see shit like it, you're saying it wouldn't have been a problem anyway because he he wouldn't have even had visual of the cabin or the house or anything yeah yeah okay and he was in the way that the land was situated he was more down downhill right you guys are up and he was more uh down right or no like most of his properties like 75 to 85 percent grade and down toward the bottom of the property toward the road and stuff where it levels out a little bit and you could probably put something. 